We're back today with another video and today we're gonna to talk about acrylic. A lot of people wonder what it takes to engrave and cut this acrylic. It's really not that hard. We're going to do it today on our Thunder Laser Nova 35. This is a little handwriting tracing board, practice board, whatever you wanna call it. You write on it with a dry erase marker and uh, people really like these. It's something that we sell on our website. So I thought I would show you today how we make this. We're gonna start off by putting a piece of this acrylic here on our laser bed. You will see it does have the masking tape on it. This is the paper-based tape, not the clear plastic. If it was clear plastic, you would want to remove it before you were lasering this, but this is the paper tape, so we're good to go. Uh, we do have it pinned down just so it uh, stays put where we want it. Acrylic is pretty flat, so that's not a big issue, but these are the laser pins that we really like, and um, I will leave a link to them in the description below this video. But the next thing we want to do is focus correctly on this. For this, we focus at six millimeters and we use these little focus blocks. These work great for this. So as you can see, we need to raise the bed of the laser up so it uh, is closer to this focus block. Once it gets close like this, then go ahead and lower the nozzle. Just unscrew the little brass nut here, or the, the dial, and then lower it down onto the focus block and then retighten this and then just move your focus block out of the way and it should be focused right on six millimeters and we're going to go ahead and set our origin point as you can see we've already cut one of these out of this piece of material so we're going to set our origin point um, kind of right here below where we had already cut now once we have this point where i want it and where our starting point will be I'm gonna go ahead and press the origin button on the controller to set my origin. Now let's move over to the computer and get the file ready. Okay, so we are in Lightburn now and we're gonna take a look at this file. Um, this is a file that we had purchased somewhere in the past and we cannot find this file available right now or else I would share that with you. But maybe we'll make something like this in the future if you need that. Just let us know in the comments. But as you can see, this just says, hi, my name is and we have Paul Houston Rockwell. So we have all three of these lines here uh, with some dashed lines just to kind of make this look like a little handwriting tablet or whatever. But um, we will notice over here, these are our settings for our Nova 35 80 watt machine. So we will first look at the fill settings here. For the engraving, we have this at 600 millimeter per second at 35% power. This is what we have found that works the best for us to give us the results that we are after for acrylic. The other thing I will note is we have the air assist turned off for this. It just works better for us with the air turned off, um, which results in the very minimal air. And if we look at our cut settings, we are running this at 15 millimeter per second at 60% power. Now for this, you want to make sure that you have your air assist on. Before we send this file to the laser, there's one more thing that we need to do. We're doing this on acrylic, so we want the engraving on the back side of the acrylic. So I would just select my whole design here, and I'll go up here to the little mirror button um, and just click on that, and it will just mirror all of this. That way it will engrave the way that we want it to. And if you remember on the laser, I set my origin for the spot that I wanted it to start at. So right now it is set for the center of this and we want to change that. So we're gonna go over here, make sure that you're starting from current position. We're gonna change this to the upper left-hand corner. And when we click on the little uh, button here, you'll notice over on the file, that little green square moved to the top left corner. And that is where we want to start this file on our machine. So the only other thing left to do now is to send this to the laser. So we're gonna go over here to the send button, click on the send button, and we'll give this a name. So we will name this penmanship. And go ahead and click okay. And that has sent to the laser. So now let's go to the laser, load the file, engrave and cut this thing. So we're gonna press file, and then our file is at the top of the list, so we'll just press enter. And now it's loaded, it is loaded in reverse as we can see on here. So once we're ready, we just go ahead and press start. Mm -hmm. 
So now this has started engraving and I'm not going to play the whole thing for you, but you can see it starts engraving and it is engraving very nicely. Now acrylic is something that you want to stay with. You don't want to walk away from the acrylic because acrylic does have a tendency that it could catch on fire. We've never had that issue, but you just want to make sure and stay with your laser um, for most things, but especially with acrylic, it's important to stay with it. But as you can see, this engraved and cut it out very nicely. And the total time that it took on this was eight minutes and 18 seconds. Now again, this is with our Nova 3580 watt machine. Now that it is finished, all we need to do is remove the tape off of this acrylic. And you will notice we got it started with this little plastic razor blade scraper. And this is just something you can pick up off of Amazon or whatever. It's a plastic blade in it, so it doesn't scratch the acrylic. And this works a lot better than just using your fingernails. Uh, it'll save your fingernails at least. So yeah, we just go ahead and get the corner peeled up and then just start uh, peeling all of this paper tape off. And that's it. That's how we made this little handwriting tracing board. It's really pretty easy, like I said. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.